difficulties getting the mic turned on but here now um, I don't really have a ton to report since last week uh, we we're gonna try to get one of the other trainers to do trainer talk today to see what they had to say um, but they were all unavailable for right now so we're gonna keep trying maybe next week um, but yeah so today I went to to, um, oh, Today I went to um, Danvers Indoor Sports with Jack, and uh, he was pretty nervous um, with a bunch of little kids screaming. Um, like he still did everything I asked of him, but he was panting a lot and drooling, so that's just showing that he was nervous. Um, but the more exposure that happens, um, the less nervous he will be. Are we pooping? Are we pooping? Yes. Yeah. Are you a super duper pooper? Huh, bro? What? Everyone step in. I don't know what happened, but okay. Off. 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 Thank you. Um. So after that, um, where did I go for free? Um, I took Wallace to downtown Ipswich. Um, we have a post office box there, so we needed to check that. But while we were there, we just did a lot of walking around uh, the traffic. Uh, he did pretty well with that, um, but he still wanted to look at all the cars and trucks passing. So it was a lot of leave it, leave it. <laughs> Um, so, um, every time we walked past people, he also was kind of interested, so just reinforcing more leave it, um, but he has his skills down, he knows what to do, um, he caught all my falls, um, every time I'd fake stumble, um, from a kneeling position on the ground, he was able to brace so that I could pull myself up using him. Ah, leave it. I know. We don't use teeth. Leave it. Um, and I took Riker to downtown Newburyport by the water. Um, they have a nice boardwalk there, and they also have a bunch of little boutique shops. Um, so he did excellent there. Um, so the only things with Riker was trying to get him to focus more attention on me. He still caught everything, he did everything I asked, he was still listening, but he just needed to look at me more. Um, there was other dogs there, which he was totally fine passing by them, but he still wanted to look at them. Um, he did get spooked by one dog that tried to um, come play with him, um, but all he did was like just jump a little bit. Um, what else? Um, 
these kids, uh, we have another pooper. Um, these kids are learning their names. Um, some of them definitely have it down. Others are a little slow on the uptake, but that's okay. Um, they got their C first round of C5 shots yesterday. Um, so that, uh, in their development and whatever, um, that's usually when we decide that we can take them outside, not off property, but just outside this building. Uh, we were planning on having them go to the teepee area today, but it is very windy and it's chilly outside. Um, I think the height of today was supposed to be like 64. Um, and that's just a little too chilly for puppies that don't have a lot of fur. Um, so we are hopefully going to be taking them outside soon um, just for a quick trip um, so hopefully that'll be I don't know within the next hour um, just outside the door do a little circle and come back in um, we want uh, all the puppies to follow mama so um, that usually happens we had that with Bianca when she stayed a little longer with the puppies um, that's pretty much why we're keeping uh, Capri here. Um, we want her to teach them manners, we want them to follow her. Um, Sugar. Just that kind of modeling behavior, that kind of socialization um, that a mama dog gives their babies. Um, Sugar. Nope. Here you go. Yep. Um, they are definitely showing their personalities. Um, so, uh, soon we'll, they'll be big enough that we can throw a leash on them, and then the real work begins, right? Right? Hi, Mr. Dawes. Um, so right now, all of them, most of them still have their, um, collars on, so some people are still recognizing what dog is what based on that, um, I think I have all of them down without their collars. Um, so once we take them off, once they outgrow them, it'll be better. Um, we won't have people just recognizing them from their colors. Um, what else? Um, so as it gets warmer, I'm planning on taking a bunch of the um, more mature, almost ready dogs on train rides. Um, usually I'll take them from the Beverly stop to the Salem stop and back, um, just because there's more train traffic there than in downtown Ipswich, and it's not that far. Um, so we are not able to take our dogs just to practice flying with a dog on an airplane, um, but trains, um, their seating arrangement is very similar, um, so once a dog can master that, um, they can master anything pretty much. Um, so I haven't had many issues with that in the past. They definitely get spooked when they go by the big engine car, um, but you just have to make sure that you're not coddling them, you're not telling them that it's okay to be afraid, you're basically showing how calm you are and it's nothing to be afraid of. So I'll probably be starting that soon. Um, it's nice to do it when it's not cold and not too hot because uh, we also have to worry about um, paws on pavement. So that's just what my plans are. Um, yeah, we don't have um, any matches coming up this week. Um, stay tuned for more. Um, but we do have several dogs that are just about ready, if not already ready. So we'll be planning those soon. But yeah, so. Uh, tune in tomorrow for driving with Jamie, um, and I'm gonna sign off.
but thank you. Enjoy the puppies. But first, I have to turn this on. 